Here is the rapid guide for Malda Totem's main Easter egg. Let's go. So first off, you're going to want to build the power. You're also going to want to build Klaus and you're going to want to grab the wonder weapon dubbed the Cerberus. I have guides to do all three of these things on the channel and I'll link them on the top right corner of the screen as we speak. Once you've built Klaus, you're going to want to deploy him and command him to break this wall found in the underground section. Next, you're going to want to grab the laser energy variant of the Cerberus wonder weapon by killing zombies with the weapon until they drop the variant on the floor for you to pick up. With this laser rifle, you must then direct the energy beam straight at the door revealed when Klaus broke the wall earlier. Doing so will open a new area which is a laboratory and from there you must head inside and survive a special round. Once you've done this the two devices on the ground floor of the room will no longer be protected and you can then grab a series of canisters deployed by the device within the middle. You'll be able to hold all three in your inventory and we'll need them for later. If you also chill in the room for a little while the second machine towards the wall will then deploy a lure trap which you must grab as well. Now it's worth mentioning that during the next steps of the easter egg you can grab the headgear which is done by shooting a series of objects with the Cerberus Wonder Weapon. There are three parts in total that you must grab. Part number one is grabbed by shooting the radio tower on the spawn roof. The second part is obtained by shooting the three stereo boombox radios found in the electronics store. And the third and final part is found by shooting the fuse box in the train station. With all three parts now in your inventory, you can head to Klaus's chair in the safe house and place the headgear onto him. Now back to the canisters and the lure kit. Around the map in different random areas, you will see three different stations that you must place the canisters within and then deploy the lure kit in front of them to spawn a series of tempest enemies. Like I said, three of these will spawn into your game and thankfully they're very easy to spot, but one thing to note is the locations are random each game and they won't be in consistent positions. So effectively, one by one with each of these machines, you want to first place in the canister and then deploy the lure trap, kill the tempest that spawn in the surrounding area, and then what will happen is a charged version of the canister will then raise up for you to grab. Just like the canisters found in Outbreak, you must then slowly escort it down back into the laboratory and feed it back into the machine that we first took it from. And then what you're going to want to do is just repeat this process for the other machines found within the map. Each time you're going to have to grab a new lure trap. Now, once you've placed all three canisters now charged into the machine for the next step, you're going to want to upgrade Klaus. So to upgrade Klaus, you must first make sure that you've acquired the radar dish found by digging the dig sites near the turrets found by Pack-a-Punch. And then of course, you're going to want to make sure that you've placed that radar dish on the abandoned arsenal station found in the mannequin factory. Next, what you're going to want to do is keep calling in Klaus and making sure he gets gets as many kills as possible and once he's got enough kills the TV found just above the abandoned arsenal station where he used to be will turn green. Once this happens use your command function to call him in right in front of the station and he'll climb with inside it and then what you can do is begin a lockdown sequence for one minute that you must survive. Boss zombies will spawn at this stage so make sure that you're armed and ready. Once done Klaus will emerge with a stage one upgrade. However there is more to do yet. Now if you've already done the quest for the free wonder weapon you know how to get the UV light which is basically by calling Klaus in front of this locker with the zero scrawled on the wall above it, which is found here within the switch control room. Whether Klaus is here or not, you need to now locate two of the fuse boxes required to take him to the next stage. This is indicated by a little robot smiley right next to the box itself, revealed by the UV light exposure. There are six potential locations, two of which will be valid for your game. One is located right by Klaus's radio at West Berlin Street. Another is located in the nearby burning building named the Blasted Suite. The third can be found here in the ghost section part of the train area. The fourth can be found just past power in the maintenance tunnel to the left hand side. The fifth can be found in the hotel lounge just next to stamina. And the sixth and final one can be found on the fifth floor apartment right upstairs from the zip line. Like I said, two of these fuse boxes will be marked with a little robot smiley exposed by the UV light. And with that, you must take Klaus to those boxes and command him to break it open by putting the marker just in front of it. Each time this is done, it will reveal one floppy disk that you must grab. And once you've gotten both of them, you must then run back to the mannequin factory and then command Klaus to get back into the machine and hold square to upgrade him. Simply do this twice, once for each floppy disk and Klaus will have reached his final form. He'll have a fully maxed out upgraded weapon with an AAT and he'll actually become a very useful ally capable of reviving you and everything. With Klaus now upgraded, you'll want to deploy him, head to the switch control room and flip that switch. Head to the opposing side from Mule Kick and ask Klaus to stand in the tracks and what he should do is stop an oncoming train. Head within this train, grab the bomb from the case and also grab the key card found by the corpse on the chair. You'll then want to use the keycard on the PC found in Klaus's room of the safe house and keep interacting with it until it spawns a HVT in the Pack-a-Punch area. Slaughter the HVT and it will drop two pieces of uranium. With each piece, you're going to want to take it to one of the workbenches found either side of the ground floor of the map. These are the streets of Berlin I'm talking about, of course. And each time you take one to a build bench, it will convert into a dedicated device. 
Now you can drop this device on the floor to regenerate your health as it will slowly deplete once you're holding it. But one by one with each of these devices, you want to place them either side of the zip line connecting the Corba rooftop to the destroyed penthouse. Once you've done this, they'll collide in the middle and drop a reformed rock on the ground below. Take that rock into the laboratory and place it into the machine that deployed the canisters earlier on in the Easter egg. Now from this point, you'll see dialogue to say that it wasn't actually enough uranium and simply what you're going to have to do is repeat the steps from back when you deployed the HVT at the computer. So head back down to the safe house, deploy a new HVT, kill that HVT, grab the uranium parts, convert each of them at the workbenches and put them either side of the same zip line. They'll collide in the middle, grab the rock that drops below and take that second and final rock down into the laboratory, place it into the machine and you'll now enter the boss fight. So quickly, just some key pointers for this boss fight. It is one of the longest boss fights in Treyarch Zombies as far as I can remember. If your screen starts pulsing blue with these weird fibers running along, get to cover as this is a devastating attack that can nearly kill you. The next tip is that when Valentino is firing the yellow crystals at you, get to cover as these can be very damaging if you don't have Ring of Fire deployed. But thankfully, the way this boss fight works is that if you take down chunks of her health, she'll then move from position to position, granting you a short window of time to rebuy armor, rebuy ammo and do anything you need to stock up for the next stage. Me personally, I highly recommend running Ring of Fire using the new wonder weapon because you can grab a lot of ammo back from killing the boss zombies that spawn. And finally, another great investment is grabbing yourself a 100 blue scrap death machine from a workbench as this absolutely rinses her health. Now in the final stages of the Easter egg, Valentina will return back into the laboratory where you first started fighting her. And once you've depleted her health enough, she'll fall to the floor and you must then capture her by interacting with her. Now you're not quite done yet. A short cutscene will play. And then from there, what you have to do is escort Klaus as he bravely heads towards the teleporter. Keep protecting him, keep firing. And once he reaches the end, you have completed this awesome, awesome Easter egg, and you can then enjoy the full final cutscene. But that is all for this guide, lads, ladies and gentlemen. If you did find it helpful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.